Well, hello there. How are you guys on this beautiful morning? That's right, it's another beautiful morning. The trucks are singing, the birds are chirping, the sun is bright. This blacktop kind of smells like pee. Oh yeah, this is where I parked last night. Can you guys see at the angle it is? I don't know if you guys can quite see that or not. How about now? Can you see it any better? Let's just say I did not worry about rolling out of bed last night. It was definitely angled hard. You know, that reminds me. It's been a while since I've said it, so I better say it again. What I do. A 39-year-old truck driver from Western Iowa. I own my own truck, own my own truck and company. Do not own the trailers. I pay a gentleman a certain percentage of what I make out of each load to use his trailers, to use his dispatcher, and to use his money. When I say money, it's in the wise of he pays me faster than what the companies I deliver to would pay me. Um, this channel is just to cover my truck and life. Then when I get home, I have what I call home time. If you ever see home time written on the description on each one of my videos, that's what it is, home time. That's what we're doing at the house. Me, Warden, Little Bud, and Tater Tot. You never know what we're going to do. In most years, we're plenty busy right now between sports between dance school getting the camper ready to go this year it's a little bit slower it's a lot slower it's like way slower but yeah that's what I do if you haven't subscribed yet guys make sure you subscribe and if you like the video when it's all done Throw a like down there. I truly do appreciate those. And to my subscribers that I have already, thank you for being subscribers. I got a gift from a subscriber. I'll show you a little bit later what it was, what it is. It's in the truck with me. You'll love it. Well, guys, I can't check any of the fluids. We're at too much of an angle to even think about doing that. Tires are good. Let's go drive truck.
Well, guys, we've made it this far. Where is this far, you ask? We've made it to Fayetteville, North Carolina. We're only about 20 miles away from where we're going to deliver tonight. We're running a little bit early, so we're just going to stop here at this rest area and kill a little time. Are you guys wondering yet what I got from a viewer, from a subscriber? Well, what I got is... Nah. I'm not ready to tell you yet what I got. But, uh... I will. I will before this video's up. Don't worry. But since we got a little bit of time to kill, I'm thinking I might uh, actually tell you guys about this dream I had. More of a nightmare, but I can't get it out of my head. And it's one of those that you have every once in a while, and you just can't get out of your head. Alright, well I suppose I could tell you guys about this little nightmare that I had. It all started when I was just about to fall asleep. I don't know why, but I started thinking about school. Maybe it's because of all the talk about kids going back to school. I'm sleeping peacefully and guess what happens? I have a dream, well we're not going to call it a dream, we're going to call it a nightmare. I have a nightmare that I go back to school. That would flat out be, that's a bad nightmare. I mean, there is worse, but that's a really bad nightmare. Because let's face it, this beautiful mug you see right here was not one of the popular kids or even a cool kid for that matter. School was pretty much miserable for me all the way up till I'm going to say my sophomore year in high school. You know, my sophomore year in high school, that's when I met two friends that I still am in contact with. You know, one of them I talk every once in a while with, and one I text her probably once a week still. We don't see each other all the time. And then my sophomore year is when I met the beautiful warden, my wonderful wife. Yes, that's right. We are, what do you call that? Teen sweethearts, I don't know, fancy word. But what it did all the way up to my sophomore year, it was kind of brutal, and it wasn't because of my upbringing at all. My parents were, I had a, I had an excellent childhood. I mean, my parents did everything they could. You know, it's just the the way you were raised. Well, the nightmare was. The nightmare was a group of kids, and uh, I guess you'd call them now, I don't know what you'd call them now, I, back then we called them preps, you know, the ones that had all the money, had the, I think they were called Pepe jeans, the Lawman jeans, the Doc Martin boots, all that fancy stuff. Let's just say they had a heyday with me. You know, I wasn't always, right now I'm 6'4", 300 pounds, and I didn't hit that 300 pound mark till the past year. But back then I was 6'4", but not big. And they were kind of rough. I mean, yeah, pretty rough. I mean, I remember one time I was wearing a pair of wind pants that had our school's logo on them and I had a long t-shirt on with them. And my t-shirt must have come up at one time because one of them realized that it didn't have my name on them. Because back then you always stenciled your name in right below your waist or somewhere. They'd, they'd stencil it in just to, well, I don't know why they did it, but they just always did. And I wore a long shirt with them. Well, they were my sisters. <laughs> they were wind pants. They weren't girls clothes. But everyone else was wearing them, so I thought, I want to be cool too. 
and I wasn't gonna hit my parents up for money to buy something that stupid so I wore them oh boy when they seen that they seen I had my sister's name on it and not my name got rough there for a little bit oh god I remember saving up money and buying a pair of tennis shoes because I thought that was the cool thing to do you, you had to have cool tennis shoes right Nah, that didn't help anything at all. They just come up with something else. Heck, I remember the what you'd probably call now Valley Girls. And that's what the nightmare was about, is that group would make fun of my hair. And believe it or not, guys, you see this? I wasn't always bald. Man, I used to have beautiful, thick hair. And at one time, I actually had a half mullet. It wasn't really a mullet. I, just, I had a lot of curls back here. And... I cut it off when I got into high school. One of them comes off. Oh, about time you shaved off that dirt all your. About time you shaved that dirt off of your neck. You know, just little stuff like that. Well, then you know, freshman year in high school, I started getting. Let's just say. Stout. My sophomore year in high school. If you were gonna give me stress. You were gonna hurt. And I'm not promoting violence in any which way, but sometimes you had to do it that way. And that's what I did. Now, my sophomore years on to when I graduated, those years are my fault. 100% my fault. I was no glory child or good kid by no means. And a lot of that's I ran around with an older crowd, which I still blame one of you. She's the one friend I always talk to all the time. But I was, I was a little bastard. I, I, I was, I was mean to my teachers, mean to my parents. I mean, now I look back at it and I think, I feel so sorry for my parents. They had to put up with me. I, I don't even want to know. I hope to God my kids are nothing like me when I was in high school. At least those last three years of high school. And then there was Warden. Man, she tried her darndest. She's, believe this or not, guys, my warden is a straight A, 4.0, grade point average, smart girl, and she married me. Not smart, which is okay now. I don't have to be smart now because I pay other people to be smart for me. But she tried and she tried, man. She tried keeping me on the straight and narrow and being good, and what she succeeded, she succeeded pretty good. I ended up pretty good, you know, with my parents' upbringing, the, the couple friends I had there and Warden, I'm going to say I ended up pretty good now. But looking back at it, not a good high schooler. But yeah, that was my nightmare. My nightmare was being stuck with those preps. And it was one of those, like, if you're falling and you can't wake up, and I just couldn't wake up. I mean, it's such a stupid dream to call a nightmare. But usually I can never remember dreams or remember nightmares for that matter. But after that one, it's been stuck in my head all day. And I have it every once in a while. And, you know, it's not like they were beating me up by no means. You I mean, I'm, I was 6'4 then. You weren't going to beat me up. Well, yeah, yeah. I did get my, ass, my butt handed to me a couple times. But just in grade school growing up, I mean, from kindergarten to sophomore year in high school, it was, it was brutal. And I don't know why, I just, I, like I said, my parents gave me a great upbringing, you know. So I wasn't running around looking like a dork or nothing. I mean, six foot four, big foot, big feet, huge head, I guess. But... That's my nightmare that I had. I wanted to share that with you. I've already talked eight minutes now, so we're going to go ahead and bring this to a halt and just walk around a little bit, jump in the truck. I think I'm going to make myself some oatmeal and toast. That sounds good for tonight, today. But then after that, we're going to head into Tar Hill, North Carolina, get unloaded. Once we get unloaded, we do have a reload. I'm not even going to start to tell you what it is because I can't remember. I just looked at it at the phone real quick when we were pulling in here. 
other than that, I'll talk to you guys here in a little bit. Schmidt, S-C-H-M-I-D-T. Are you empty or loaded? Imp or loaded. Oh. Okay. Is this one locked? Yeah. Had to check my side box. Oh, guys, look at this. I got that from a subscriber. Isn't that the coolest thing you ever done did see? I feel like a ruffian. I gotta button my shirt back up. There you go. Isn't that cool? That is awesome, isn't it? Looks like they upped the staff a little bit since the last time I was here. Good evening, honey. Evening. Good Yes, ma'am. you this I got this beautiful mask from a subscriber thank you Steph I do appreciate it I got some hand sanitizer from a buddy of ours that lives probably about 60 miles south of us the ethanol plants making it it's potent I mean this stuff the stuff is potent you put it on it, it cleans your nostrils out makes your eyes water a little bit my hands feel great though they feel clean Thank you to the friends down south. Thanks, for Steph, for the new mask. My peeps are taking care of me out here on the road. I did have to put a paper clip on the back of it. I have a huge head. Huge head. Once this truck gets out of the way, we're going to go find a place to sit and wait for a phone call. Alrighty, guys. We just got a door. Sun's not even down and we have a door. We're doing real good this week. Wow, that sun's really bright. 